students will start a new chapter that is magnetic effect of electric current. In magnetic effect of electric current, we'll be dealing with the effect of current. There are various effects of current, like heating effect, when current passes through a conductor or a resistor, heat is produced. So that is known as the heating effect of electric current. The application of this is in we use in heater or iron for pressing cloth. Similarly, there is a chemical effect of uh, electric current. So, from one electric current, we convert that into heat energy. Similarly, in a chemical effect of electric current, when electric current passes through electrolytes, <coughs> uh, which uh, has a chemical energy. <coughs> so, we can uh, convert electrical energy to chemical energy. Likewise, the flow of electric current in a conductor can also produce magnetic field around it. So this is known as magnetic effect of electric current. Whether the conductor is straight, curved, or circular, it produces magnetic field around it. First, it was uh, Oersted who <coughs> first uh, invented this that when current passes through a conductor it produces the magnetic field and that was uh, experimentally observed by Oersted. The experiment is known as Oersted experiment. The experiment is very simple. Through a wire, current is going and below the wire, we keep a magnetic needle which can rotate in the about the vertical axis and the horizontal plane. So this is a conductor through which the current is flowing and below it we have a needle, magnetic needle, north and south pole pointing like this. The magnetic needle always will point north-south, so it is in north-south direction. Now when current starts flowing and the needle is lying below, <coughs> that is deflected. And because that is deflected, he comes to the conclusion that it is because of the current flowing to the conductor. When he reversed the direction of the flow current, the needle which was deflected also reverses its direction. This means that a magnetic field or needle, when a magnetic needle is brought near a bar magnet or a bar magnet is moved towards a magnetic needle, it gets deflected. That means says the north pole of the needle is this side and north pole is brought towards this of the bar magnet, the needle is deflected, this is repelled and the south pole will come to this side because north pole and south pole they will attack. So that means the deflection of the needle is, is due to the movement of the bar magnet towards it and the movement of bar magnet, the bar magnet has magnetic field around it. So to, to deflection of the needle confirms the presence of external magnetic field. In this case, it is in the form of bar magnet. In case of current flowing through a conductor, it is because of the presence of external magnetic field then from where that external magnetic field comes. That means when current flows through the conductor, that external magnetic field is produced around the conductor. And because of that external magnetic field, the needle which is lying below the conductor is under the influence of external magnetic field due to the current flowing through the conductor. 
and so one magnetic field will interact with another magnetic field just like one mass is also interacted by another mass just like in gravity you know that any object has mass was like this and the earth has gravitational force so they have interactions and it moves towards the center of the earth so mass will interact with mass charge will interact with charge and similarly a magnet is interacting with another magnet the magnetic field is interacting with another magnetic field the magnetic field due to the needle and the magnetic field due to the current flowing to the conductor they interact and because of the interaction there is a deflection in the needle so the experiment is very simple when current passes through a conductor and the needle is kept needle is kept below this <clears throat> suppose that this is north pole and this is south pole of the needle which can rotate in this horizontal plane this is lying above the needle this conductor is lying above the needle but it is shown here now it has been found that <clears throat> suppose that this is a north direction okay i will uh, okay no problem i will take this as east west north and south i will put a conductor like this when current flows from south to north current is from south to north the needle line below the needle like the north pole of the needle line below is directed towards west so needle is like this now like that <clears throat> if i reverse the direction of the current then south pole here now this north pole is moving towards the west in that case south pole will move towards the west so that is a in short you can remember like this s and o w snow when current passes from south to north flows in the direction of south to north the needle line below the north pole of the needle line below moves towards west so by changing the or reversing the direction of the current the direction to this direction the deflection also gets reversed so this is known as uh, this is a western experiment and uh, it confirms the presence of uh, magnetic field due to current carrying conductor and the magnetic field is found to be in concentric circles around the conductor Thank you.